Donald Trump's proposal to ban all Muslims from entering the United States still sparking outrage all over the globe. In fact, citizens of the UK have now created a petition with now over 300,000 signatures demanding that officials bar Trump from entering their country. This, of course, as the House has overwhelmingly passed a bill to tighten up the visa waiver program. That program allows citizens from many countries to temporarily enter the United States without a visa at all. Joining me now, House Democratic Caucus Chairman, Representative Javier Becerra. Uh, sir, in your statement uh, to Donald Trump's uh, comments uh, about not allowing any Muslims to enter this country, you said, quote, this is still America with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, and these are certainly not the Crusades. That was, uh, I mean, that was pretty incendiary to, to equate his saying, hey, we need to hold off temporarily and vet these people better with the Crusades. Uh, the Crusades, uh, it was a war with Muslims. Uh, it sounds like Donald Trump's in a, in a war with Muslims. Even those who are innocent, even those who are women and children, have nothing to do with any type of violence or terrorism against us. Uh, again, uh, Donald Trump's using these very strong words, and now he's seen the reaction to his words. Okay, again, listen, I, I, I get where you're coming from. It's certainly a, it's controversial. You have people from both sides of the aisle come out and say, you know, we've never barred a religion before, certainly. By the way, who would have thought overnight that, uh, that uh, Jimmy Carter would have become a hero for this right <laughs> and Dick Cheney would have been uh, seen as something uh, of, a, of a failure to the right? But you've had people on both sides of the aisle uh, uh, who've come out and condemned his comments. But this kind of rhetoric, though, actually, in my mind, helps Donald Trump to some degree prove his point that Americans can't be safe without the politically correct left or Democratic Party making these sort of incendiary remarks. It's Donald Trump who's making the incendiary remarks. It's Donald Trump who's getting reaction throughout the world and within America and within the Republican Party. Uh, I, I believe what many of us are simply reflecting is the fact that it, it not only hurts, but it's, it's deplorable to hear a candidate for president talk about things that are not just wrong, but are unconstitutional. And so uh, it's Donald Trump who has to respond. And I think maybe he enjoys doing this stuff. That's fine. But that doesn't mean that it's right. If he had said, I don't want to get into the constitutionality part of it. I'm not equipped to go there. I've read both sides all day long. Everyone says it is. It's not. Here's the thing. If Donald Trump has said, how about we temporarily halt uh, uh, anybody coming in from Syria, Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, would you have been against that? Temporarily halt. Uh, you, again, you're, you, you have to have a rational reason to do some of these well, things. Well, a rational reason, sir, with all due respect, is the amount of people who have come from these nations who have committed terrorist acts in the West, uh, Europe, America, and certainly within those countries where ISIS has an extraordinarily strong foothold, wouldn't it be smart to put in some better vetting process? Why should I stop a child from coming to this country from Syria if the child is escaping uh, sure death in Syria? Well, one of the problems is typically the child is coming with a parent or two. Let's not but forget, Charles, why should let's I not stop forget the, the prime suspects in the San Bernardino killing of 14 people We're had a six-month-old child, and that didn't seem to matter to them. And isn't that a shame that that six-month-old child no longer has parents? But is that a reason to deny another six-month-old child an opportunity to escape that same kind of violence? It's uh, a Charles, reason to We're not tell talking about saying so only some people can't come if they're from Syria. Uh, it's a total ban on everyone. And so, again, it's a painting with a very broad brush. People who are innocent because there are some people who are, uh, are, are guilty. And that's the, diff that's, the prop prop that's the part of this that's wrong and it's unconstitutional.